Greetings, citizens. I'm Space Ghost. I mean, I've, uh, sorry, uh, Kung Fu Jesus is here, and I'm gonna. I've been charged, given a, a sacred mission to defeat this this maverick here. The, uh, the so-called Gravity Beetle. Yeah, this guy. And uh, uh, a servant of Dr. Doppler. He is that thing. A beetle. And a t truly inefficient fighting machine. So, gravity themed uh, boss, but the stage is woefully absent of gravity. Sta uh, well, gimmicks anyway. I mean, I, I was expecting when I played this to um, have to switch gravity a few times, you know? Maybe, um, you know, maybe maybe press some buttons, like an X8, and barring that, go through some clever uh, rigmarole with, with arrows, like Mega Man 5. I don't know, just something to do with gravity. Something that lets me know that gravity exists and is different here. That the rules are not the same. Oh, <clears throat> so I'm showing off this the parasite bomb that we got, or you know, maybe it's the power bomb. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's damn nice because it just gets rid of enemies for you. And if you happen to latch on to an enemy that is is movable, um, it, it will move it into another enemy. Now. I don't know what the deal is, because this stage, this beginning part here, is supposed to have a bunch of unbreakable uh, blocks in it, so that you can't uh, just get that heart container right there. I don't know what the deal is with that, and why it's uh, not doing that. Oh, please don't, don't. Awesome. I, I hate, I hate bite. Uh, I hate his spiked ball. I hate his massive amounts of damage that he does. Uh, let's hop up here and get this, uh... This fuck you upgrade right up here. Uh, Come on, Mega Man. You can... You can... Stop running into walls, Mega Man. Rocket. Alright, another reason is the Parasite Bomb immediately gets rid of those guys, and those guys. And these guys. And those guys. And almost every guy in this stage. It's great! Only downside is you can only have one out at a time. whoop de doo Doop. So, uh... Carrying on. I'm a bit depressed that I got this stage and this boss. Not because they're hard. In fact, because they're easy. Almost too easy. There's, uh... Not much to do in this stage. I can't do much item collection. I don't have the, uh, the buster upgrade. Can't go back to Tunnel Rhino and get stuff, so, uh... I'm left to... Go through this pretty boring gravity stage. Move Slow-moving elevators. Boss mini-boss doors that aren't actually mini-boss doors. That was... That was naughty. And, uh, okay. So let's test out our new ride armor that I just got. How about that? Yeah. Sounds like a great idea. Sounds like... <laughs> sounds like a great idea. Until <laughs> you realize that this is as stupid as ride armor I ever... I, you know, I don't think this ever came back because it, it, it actually sucks. Uh... If you press dash, it jumps a little bit higher, and it has exactly one use in this game, and that is to navigate an underwater section of, um, I think it's Crushed Crawfish's level, and destroy some fans so you can get an energy tank. It also fires missiles that may or may not home. I really don't care, because they suck a lot. Oh, more uh, Parasite Bomb goodness. Check that out. All right, let's. How close are we? Uh, sub tank. Boink. Uh, 
Oop. Ignoring enemies. And down there is a chip. This game has this thing system stupidity called chips. And chips are their way of saying... Are, uh, are their way of keeping you from getting upgrades. Because... Yes, they're pretty cool. Like, one of them allows you to regenerate health just by standing still. One of them allows you to dash twice in the air. That's really, really cool, actually. But you can only get one chip in the entire game. One chip. And if you don't get any chips, and you wait until the first Doppler stage, you can get the gold chip to get the ultimate armor which has the abilities of all chips combined. And for it to appear, you have to have all the items, all the stuff. And, uh... You have to have all the stuff, and full health, and stuff. It's, uh... Maybe these are his, his weakness, these parasite bombs. I don't know. That could be, and I should have used the sub-tank right there. That would have been prudent. Regardless, all my test runs, I've been beating him with the simple buster, so... Uh... Here we go again. Now, I did say this boss was easy, and he's rather easy if you just follow his simple pattern of avoid him. Don't touch him. Don't do that. And don't touch his gravity shots either. This is the single part in the game, that, or the level, that has gravity. Then he makes this giant fuck huge. He makes this gigantic gravity well in the top of the room. Very impressive. It will eat you if you touch it. So don't touch it. I mean, you wouldn't put scissors in your mouth, would you? That would be silly. See, I like this part where he runs at walls and doesn't shoot those gravity options at you because gravity options, a bit more trouble than they're worth. They do a lot of damage. Not too keen on that. And down he goes. That was not that hard. I died the first time because I was talking too much, not concentrating. But if you avoid his shots, he's not that hard. Do -do 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 -do. And now we pick up his remaining essences. Ooh, it's Mega Man. And that's our password, and that's it for me. Hmm, so the real challenge comes in when I when I choose a person to do the next Maverick. And I think I want to see um Taxidermist Pasta. I want you to fight this guy, this the saber tooth claw tiger guy. I don't know what his actual name is. I actually forgot. Saberclaw slash Dino. I want you to fight him. And, um... Because, you know, we need that buster upgrade. And, uh... That's it. Yeah, that's my that's my, that's my job, right? I, I beat the, uh, the Maverick. I got all the upgrades that I could get. And, uh... I've charged the next guy in line to do this. So, um... Yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, it is fun, but short and easy and, well, maybe I'll get to do one of Doppler stages. Who knows? Uh, that's it.